Genetic engineers and venture capitalists have an unfortunate thing in common. We tend to get a bad rap. In the case of genetic engineers, though, I think the bad rap is thoroughly undeserved. One of the things that I've noticed, and it's one of the things that attracted me to being a board member of SENS, was that we have irrational risk aversion. And tackling some of that irrational conservatism and risk aversion is, is something that Aubrey and Sands have done exceptionally well and continue to do so. And I've noticed that it takes a really good story, often, to spread acceptance of something. I think when you listen to a story, you tend to suspend disbelief. And that's helpful in allowing you to listen to the next few things somebody says. I also think that we don't do very good risk comparisons. Um, I would argue that massive tropical live poultry markets and feeding cows massive doses of antibiotics are both thoroughly dangerous genetic experiments that really no one cares about very much. What you probably don't know about me is that I spend my Saturdays volunteering at an organization I co-founded called Coda Dojo. And Coda Dojo is a global organization that teaches kids how to program computers for free. While at Coda Dojo, I met some very, very interesting people because we rely on mentors to come and volunteer. And one of the programmers who volunteered was a guy called Cathal Garvey. And he told me a crazy story. He told me that uh, he had a biotech startup in his mother's basement, uh, and that he was very relieved because the EPA in Ireland had recently granted him a license to conduct genetic experiments. Uh, this intrigued me. So what Carl has done uh, was quite impressive. He created an uh, open source, Python-based compiler and a series of methods and classes in Python that, when compiled, are cross-compatible with the genetic manufacturing sequences of three of the top sequence manufacturers in the world. Uh, so I was impressed by that, so we gave him some money, because uh, I am a VC as well. And what he has done with that is create a couple of things. Uh, one, he's created an open source plasmid uh, that can be used with um, a soil bacteria that's very common uh, and allows for genetic manipulation of that soil bacterium's DNA uh, without any patent requirements. He's also created uh, a novel uh, and soon to be released, again, open source protein purification system uh, that we think is going to be many orders of magnitude cheaper uh, than anything that's currently on the market. Now, as a VC, we are a little bit different in that we run what we call accelerator programs. Uh, the most uh, public one at the moment is in China. It's called Hackcelerator. Uh, and if you were to look on the Kickstarter uh, site, you would see that there are now dozens of new gizmos and gadgets that you can buy that were developed in these intense accelerator programs. It struck me that given that we had one investment in this space and it was a small team in synthetic biology, and given that this was open source, uh, it would be an interesting experiment to start up an accelerator program based in Ireland, open to anyone in the world, to come be funded, form small companies, and literally innovate and rapid prototype synthetic biology products. And then, with our assistance, commercialize them. Or with other investors' assistance. Uh, the program is starting in January. Applications are open now. You can uh, go to that website and apply. If you know someone 
who wants to, you know, give it a go, uh, we will be uh, paying for the sequences to be manufactured. We will be, we have some wet labs that we've got at UCC that we will be, uh, you know, testing. Uh, there's going to be a, a really fun innovation process. Uh, we're expecting to take up to 10 teams. We have two teams already signed up. I have one in talks with that I'm very excited about that want to modify lactobacil lactobacillus to uh, produce vitamin D. Um, and there are other very interesting small interventions that I think could be really turned into amazing products. We're looking for partners. We're looking for mentors. Um, accelerator programs basically are a little hothouse where you bring the teams together and you bring in lots of mentors to advise them. And we're looking for the teams themselves. So if you know someone, please apply. Um, the uh, funding is pretty decent and it's uh, going to be three months of fun. The last thing I'll say is that whenever I talk about uh, synthetic biology and I talk about its similarity to programming and in fact, uh, you know, in my opinion, DNA is digital and that's the way we're headed, I hear a lot of the risks and safety concerns. Um, the only thing I'll say to that is that I believe open source and being completely transparent is good protection for everybody in this field. Um, and I do see that the sequence manufacturers have a role to play. Um, in the future that I see, uh, the sequence manufacturers are going to be kind of like the app store. And I hope that they will enforce a, a certain level of sanity on the future programs that are going to be written by enthusiasts. Thank you very much.